am South African born, but I've been in New Zealand for 31 years, so I'm real Kiwi. wonderful out of the movement but he had the special three steps that he had to have in his in every ballet that he choreographed he it's a superstitious thing you know that if we didn't if he didn't have that in his ballet it wouldn't be a success I was ballet mistress to Lim for 12 years the most wonderful years of my life I have one naughty story to tell about Lim, just one. They were just so wonderful to work with. The respect was unbelievable. But one day, they decided they weren't in the mood to take a ballet class and started having giggles here and there. She had a class that were being really like unfocused and what she did really is that. she got them to turn their backs on her and walk up That's to the, the other side of the road. And I said, okay, turn round. They all turned their backs on me to go up to the back of the room and I walked up. And she went out and drove off and now all them were looking out of the window and Half an hour wondering later. what the heck was happening. Knock, knock on the door. Limbs of the most beautiful bunch of flowers. Huge bouquet of flowers to apologise. It never happened again. I remember going there and feeling incredibly um, frightened and here's this woman walking around with a cigarette in her mouth. I'm sure she had a stick, I don't know, she can't remember it now, I'm, I might have made that up, but um, and the, the ash used to just build up on the cigarette and then finally it would just eventually drop. <laughs> when I danced in limbs, it changed the relationship. I was more confident as a dancer and as a young woman, so I wasn't the nervous little 14 year old anymore. And really enjoyed her energy and what she had to offer and also how she delivered. Just her elegance and the way she delivered the movement. Just six and seven and eight. I was in the Royal Ballet for almost 20 years. After the war, clothing was very difficult to come by because we had to sort of look like beautiful ballerinas. All the fashion houses came to the fore and gave us cocktail outfits, outfits to arriving with hats and umbrellas and tankies and stockings and all the gear. The boys were very jealous because they didn't get anything. We got all those fantastic things. When I was younger, my mother made this green tutu for me to wear for Pata Katra. And Pata Katra is a ballet you learn these different solos and that was one of them that required a long romantic tutu. All through my growing up years, everywhere we went, we um, had our photos taken and I was in that tutu in Cornwall Park on point shoes, sinking into the grass and arabesque, you know. Thank you. 